Hello and welcome to the unboxing video for the Siemens Indoor Air Quality Multi Sensor. Now this is an exciting sensor because this individual device has seven different variables that it measures within your space. The temperature, the humidity, CO2 levels, the fine dust levels, the VOC, as well as the light levels and noise within the space. Now if I open the box you'll find within this three other boxes that uh, segregate a little bit some of the content that you're looking for here. Now, very quickly, there are five different versions of the indoor air quality multi-sensor. Two for BACnet, one BACnet IP and the other BACnet MSTP. And then we also have a wireless LoRaWAN uh, IoT device. Uh, and this comes with different regional versions, whether you're in Europe, uh, in the US or in Middle East Asia. Uh, on all of these boxes, what you'll notice is a QR code. This QR code is very important and the easiest way to find the technical documentation and the installation guide. So when you're on site and you're installing and getting this device up and running, you can find everything you need right here in the box. Firstly, let's focus on the sensor itself. So within this box, and I'll quickly open it for you, you'll find the Siemens Indoor Air Quality Multi Sensor. So you see here a very nice looking device, a nice matte finish on the front. Uh, I would like to show a few of the technical features and physical features of this device uh, as the final part of this video. Firstly, there is an LED here at the front. Now this is important as part of the commissioning process as well as once this device is up and running and working in the space, this is the easiest way for this device to communicate the current status of the indoor air quality to the users of the building. So here you'll see a red, yellow or green LED to give an overall summary of the current status within the space. If we look on the sides uh, and also at the bottom you see some holes. Now these are important holes because this is where air enters the sensor and runs across the individual sensors within. So you just need to make sure when you install this device and also if you're, if you're servicing it to make sure that these aren't uh, encumbered by any way, you're not installing this close to something that might stop airflow and also they're not soiled with dust or debris. The last thing I'd like to show you is the USB-C port. So you see one here on the base and also one here at the back. So this means you can power up this device leveraging your USB-C power cable in many different installation ways. And so it doesn't matter if you're surface mounting, in-wall mounting, or the different versions that you have, you have different options on how you power this up to suit your installation requirements. Thanks so much for watching. We go into more detail about what the interface of this device looks like and the installation and commissioning process in other videos. So please look for those if you need that information. And remember, there's a QR code on the box that gets you to the technical data as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.